this time. Really nice looking fish. Wow, that's a trophy. That's a hog! Woo! Nice job, you two. There we go. Lund Boats proudly presents the ultimate fishing experience. This week on Lund's The Ultimate Fishing Experience. Few in freshwater are as curious as the smallmouth bass. No matter what it is, if it moves, they often can't help themselves but to check it out. The key for anglers is to find the right bait in action that will turn lookers into biters. Look at that. Great big one, too. One day, slow and steady could be the ticket. The next, fast and erratic will be what triggers them. Hooked up again. Hooked up again. On the jerk bait? On the jerk bait, yep. The good news is, smallies will often tell you in a hurry if you're doing something right. Chunky smallmouth. Or something wrong. As of right now, Kyle's whooping my butt on the jerk bait, so I might have to switch here soon. Just like a cat stalking a toy mouse on a string, Sometimes, not until you move your bait just right, will a smallmouth pounce. They definitely are a fish with personality plus. There we go. Oh, Got him. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doubled up. And this is what makes fishing smallmouth bass so much fun. Awesome. We got him. <laughs> we got him. I, well, I would say that, out. that's a pretty good way to end <laughs> the day. Hey, guys. Kyle Peterson, Mitch Anderson here. Uh, it's spring of the year, we're up in northern Minnesota, it's pre-spawn, the fish are moving up shallow, and we're going to go try and catch some smallmouth today. So it's real fun, you know, we work with Wired to Fish and we're able to get out and fish a lot of different products, we work with a lot of different companies, so it's just a real good time of the year, the fish are biting, they're active, and get after it. Speaking of getting after it, let's just do that. <laughs> You know, everybody's first approach usually for smallmouth is going to be jerkbait in the spring. That's extremely typical for this time of year. And it's, you know, it's a really good way to catch smallmouths. There's nothing wrong with that. But today we're going to try and explore a, a few different avenues in getting smallmouth to try and bite. Let the fish tell you how to, you know, what they want. You know, your classic hair jigs and little paddle tail swim baits and that kind of stuff. Horizontal moving baits for the most part. You're wanting to, you're wanting to explore the lake and, and cover as much water as you can because still a lot of these fish can be uh, very consolidated on these spots. So to find that, you know, you, would, you know, you have to cover that water in order to find those fish. And hopefully, hopefully we can find some of those smallmouths today. Spot on the spot. Spot on the spot. <laughs> Ready? There we go. Let's get after it. Beautiful day. All right, that was fun. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Short little run. Are you gonna throw that swim bait around? Heck yeah. All right. I'm just gonna work a this jerk bait kind of a little bit slower. Usually in the morning like this, we'll generally I'll go kind of slow and just get a feel for what's going on. Good, a good option right away in the morning is throwing a little hair jig, black or brown hair jig, and just winding it, slow wind. Just get, oh, there's one right there. See, now that was, as I was talking, that was, that told me exactly one thing right there, is that bait, that jerk bait was sitting on a long, that was a long pause. So that just tells me that, you know, right away in the morning like this, let that jerk bait sit. I know he wants to do it one more time. Don't get a hook in the hand. I know it. <clears throat> There's a little starter fish right there. There we go. And I, you know, kind of backboated him a little bit, cast it right into his spot with a little paddle tail. 
that little guy just smoked it. That's a cool thing about a, a jerk bait is even if they don't always bite it, you can at least get them to show themselves. Um, so then maybe later you can come back and throw something different on them or just try them at a later point of the day. Rolling a paddle tail on a little ball head jig, real slow early in the morning like that. The fish aren't real active, so yet. They're in here though. Closed captioning is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. You know, for the boat is sitting in 30 feet of water and the bank, I'm keeping the bank only a cast, cast distance away. So we can, we can throw up right onto the sand and bring the baits right back down over deep water. And, and our bites are coming in probably, I don't know, what would you say, Mitch? T around 10 feet of water? Yeah, kind of right on the, that front edge of that break where it seems like they're they're kind of holding up at so we're casting up real shallow and then as soon as we hit that first break then once these fish do actually start spawning then they kind of go into a little bit of a, a funk you know I mean and I, then then you can you know before they actually bed up just before that they start getting kind of leery but then once the bed deal you know, then you can just catch them at will on a bed, but I'm not a, I'm not a big, not a big fan of that. This is kind of those areas that are sneaky that you wouldn't sometimes think fish are in. There's some, you can't see it from right here, but there's some pencil reeds in here. You know, Kyle, they're actually technically called bulrushes, but if you would like to call them pencil reeds, I guess we can make exceptions. That's what my granddaddy taught me it was pencil reeds. Okay, so. well, science says they're full rushes, so. <laughs> <laughs> they love feeding up this time of year. So anytime you run a jerk bait or a hair jig or a, a swim bait, anything in that, in that nature, you're gonna wanna keep the bait above the fish. This bait suspends so I can let that, can let that bait get it down into the depth, I, you know, it's max running depth, and I'll just pop it, pop it, reel it. There's one right there. Let it sit. It, I'm not going crazy with the jerk bait because it's just, they're, they're telling me that it's, they're just a little bit lethargic. And we're just gonna spot lock here and see if we can't catch a few of these. And bring him in here. Look how he has that T-boned. <laughs> They're not quite ready to just go total airborne yet. Mm, nice little chunky smallmouth. Let's see if we can't work them over. Do we want to just keep working around this island, Mitch, or you want to go look at the, should we go to the, you know what? Um. I mean, we know there's a few here. We could always come back if. One cardinal rule I learned from Al Linder that I never forget is don't leave fish to find fish. Yeah, that's a good point. Because catching fish is fun. <laughs> oh gosh, and I missed him. I missed him. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I'll cross your line. Oh. oh. <laughs> and you caught him. Yep. <laughs> yep, there he is. Yep, yep. <laughs> Naturally, the guy in the front of the boat has to come and catch the, the back of the boat guy's fish. That's fine. I mean, if you're going to sit there and miss them, I mean, we didn't dub you Miss a Mitch for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. Is that a good one? A little better, maybe? I haven't seen them yet. This is jerk baits are hard to tell, you know? Yeah. You hook them and then until you can actually see them. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Nice one. The thing about it right now is they're just staying down. They're just bulldogging. There's a little better one. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Lead him around a little. And up, right there. He's got them red eyes on him. Red, red eyes. Mm-hmm. Yep, missing Mitch, mm. at it again. 
and that is one good thing about you know if you're out with a buddy two guys fishing you know you can each be throwing a different thing as of right now Kyle's whooping my butt on the jerk bait so I might have to switch here soon but you know as smallmouth goes and you go throughout the day if the bite does change and you're each throwing something different you can stay on top of that bite a little easier instead of you both just throwing the same thing all the time. That's one of the really really fun things about smallmouth is just appeasing that curiosity and, and experimenting with them and seeing what what they like on that particular day. You know, we have a few boats in our arsenal at Wired to Fish, and, and this boat right here is probably one of the most versatile. This one gets used in all sorts of bodies of water, whether it's small lakes, rivers. Uh, and today we're fortunate enough to have nice weather, so we slipped it out onto a, onto a bigger body of water. And uh, up in this area, there is all kinds of opportunity for a lot of backwater fishing. So on the back of the boat, we've got a Mercury Pro XS 115 four stroke. Pushes the boat along really well. We've got a jack plate on here for running rivers, real shallow water. And then on the inside, it, the layout's really, really optimized for multi-species fishing. Big front deck for Kyle, big back deck for me. Plenty of room for rods and gear, all kinds of tackle. It's just a really versatile boat for all situations. I have a fish on Kyle's rod. Oh man, picked up Kyle's rod while he was messing with some stuff up front. Oh, there's one with him too. Made a couple casts and got a pretty good one that jerk bait again. Oh, just digging. Kyle's a backwards reeler, so it's real weird on that spinning gear. Oh, he ate it. <laughs> that one out of the way. Real pretty one. Thanks for the rod, Kyle. You Appreciate bet. It. Why would you do such a thing? I don't know. It's real weird reeling with a spinning reel on your right, your opposite side, though. He's one of those backwards guys. So for a number of years now, uh, Mercury has had, uh, through Lowrance, has had vessel view. Um, and so on a, a lot of our bigger boats, you know, we've had the luxury of having vessel view inside the boat. Um, but on a boat like this, a little bit smaller, uh, we haven't had that luxury, but now Vessel View comes inside of an app, a mobile app that connects to your motor super easily. All you have to do, turn your key, don't turn the motor all the way on, but just power it up, open your app, connect it, connect your motor, and then there's a ton of features inside the app. So on the main screen, what I like is you get all of your gauges, so it doesn't require any extra gauges being installed inside your dash. You have your RPMs, your number of gallons in your fuel tank, plus your speed. And then once you get into the app a little more, it gives you a, a detailed maintenance schedule that breaks it down by hours. Another awesome feature is the fact that if you were to have issues on the water, the app will identify what issue it is. So it will send a code to your phone that you would be able to relay to your mechanic and or your dealer um, to figure out what was wrong with your motor. So if you're a Mercury owner, you now have the option of having all the features of Vessel View inside your, your mobile app without having to install any extra displays inside your dash. Oh, there's, there's a, one. Yep, there's a good one. I saw him eat oh. it. Going airborne. On the jerk bait. Couldn't handle it anymore with Kyle catching him on his jerk bait, so. Go. Woo. Lots of hooks there. A little football. Check that thing out. T bone. T boned it. Be careful. Kind of seems like they're on the jerkbait program today for sure. Couldn't take it anymore. Kyle's just putting the beat down on him. 
Nice little guy. Fat. Away he goes. A little bit bigger profile than what he's throwing, but the classic Mega Bass 110, except it's the plus two version. That bait gets down pretty darn yeah, deep. Yeah, real deep. For, comes, as far as the jerk baits considered? One of the deeper running jerk baits there are. So it was just off the edge of that break again. They're not pushed up real shallow. Just kind of right off that front edge. So getting down to where they're at with this deeper running jerk baits key. You know, as you can see, Mitch is throwing that particular jerk bait on a um, bait caster. And that's a, like he said, that's a bigger profiled jerk bait. Um, since he's using a bait caster, you know, he might, you know, maybe has a little more control over a bait like that, of that size, where I'm going a little more finesse, a little smaller profile. His is also running a bit deeper. He's spooled with full, you know, a full spool of fluorocarbon, getting that bait down extra deep. And you just have a lot more control, you know, with, when you do hook that fish, you get a real good positive hook set. Um, where I'm using straight braid, he has a little bit faster line pickup with the bait caster. You know, he can tighten up on those fish real fast where I don't have that, which was, you know, that's where I'm relying on the big arbored spool with straight braid. He was very, I watched him eat it, and he was really lethargic. Look at that football. He's got a belly on him. He does have a belly on him. You know, like Mitch was saying about two people running two different baits and, and figuring out what the fish likes the best, you know, you have the luxury to do that with smallmouth bass. When I'm diving down here, you know, I get to, I get to watch them a lot. They're the one fish that you can get around almost all the time. They're curious about you. You can click rocks together. You can feed crayfish to them. They're just, they're very social. They want to be around and they're very curious. And that's one of the really, really fun things about smallmouth is just appeasing that curiosity and, and experimenting with them and seeing what, what they like on that particular day. There's another one. That's a big one. That's a, that's a, that's, that's a big one. Staying down. Just like you said, Kyle, just a jerk, jerk pause. Oh yeah. He's I got see, that I told you, Mitch, a jerk, jerk pause. Yep, that is exactly what it was, too. Yeah, you have yourself a real nice smallmouth there. Oh yeah. Get the He's net. all fired up. Woo! Keep my hands out of the hooks there. Nice one. Nice little, nice small mouth. Those red eyes on him are just beautiful. He is. Get him back. Kicks away. So, it's, you know, really key to keep trying different stuff. You know, we got a ton of rods rigged. I've been throwing a little paddle tail swim bait, bigger paddle tail swim bait, a little Cinco, all kinds of stuff. And then Kyle had this bigger jerk bait sitting there. Oh, this is another good one. He's been throwing that smaller size jerk bait and he's still throwing that up front. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, I'll take that rod back from you when you get a second. <laughs> and now this is three fish. Oh gosh, this is a good one. Yep, I just really like catching them out of the back of the boat. Oh, belly scoop him there. Look at that guy. Now that is a football. Lean and mean. <laughs> Shouldn't say lean, he's thick. That is a thick one. So just throwing that bigger profile, you know, it's changing things up. Been throwing all different kinds of stuff and it seems like they're starting to key in on those that little bit bigger jerk bait now. I was hooked up. Hey, that one pushed it forward. There we go. Oh, Got him. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doubled up. 
I just got one and Mitch. Oh, oh that's a nice one. He's going airborne. No, he's no, going, he's nuts. going nuts. Yours is going airborne and mine is digging deep. <laughs> mine keeps pulling oh, deep. And he's going berserk. Oh my god. Our lines are going to get tangled. tangled. Yeah. Oh god. Oh my god. Seriously? <laughs> You have, I have a blonde one and you have a dark one. Yeah. Oh. oh gosh, just a huge rat face. Come here, come on, come on, come on. Real oh, got him! Got him! Awesome. We got him! <laughs> we got him! I, well, I would say fell that, out. That's a pretty good way to end <laughs> the day. Yeah. On a cool. nice double. Cool. Jerk bait and smallmouth. Yep. Clear yeah. water. Cold water but a lot of fun. You can come out here and grab an assortment of jerk baits and spinning rods or casting rods and go to town on some nice small moth like these. Heck yeah. <laughs> get them back. Let's get them back. Looking here. good? There we go. All right. There you go, guys. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, gosh, I rolled them. I rolled them. <laughs> Come on. Miss a Mitch? Miss a Come Mitch on. at it again. Come on. <laughs> Mitch, you gotta you gotta hold them. You're holding your mouth right. <laughs> this, this jerk jerk pause. Okay. Yep. Jerk jerk pause. Oh. I don't know how many times pause. I have to tell you that. Pause. Yeah. Jerk jerk pause. What about jerk jerk jerk? Nope. Just jerk jerk. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. If you'd like more information, check out lundboats.com or these other online outlets.